All right, welcome to the next segment in repairing the uh, BenQ HD 1075. The problem ended up being a small piece of quartz. That little guy right there. <clears throat> what happened was the customer's old lamp had exploded. It either overheated or probably just got old. And they said the back of the lamp blew out, physically blew out. And some of that quartz ended up inside here, jamming that squirrel cage up. So I took it apart, made sure I got all the bits out. There was two, that was the big one. And then I uh, blew it out with air and made sure everything ran well. And this is fine. None of the uh, fins are broken. So there's no reason to replace this. It's perfectly fine. Now the next thing I'm going to do, zoom me out a little bit. So I'm going to go clean this. <clears throat> so I'll be right back. Stand by. And there we go. It's nice and clean. Need to fix my lighting in here. Make it a little better. <clears throat> So the next step, after this has all been verified, cleaned, is I need to put it back together. Now I was thinking about replacing this segment, but it really doesn't need it. There's nothing damaged. It got a little hot and it got a little crystally looking, but nothing physically melted or bent or deformed. So there's really no reason to replace this. As long as the lamp fan is spinning, then we don't have to worry about any future problems. <clears throat> Pardon me. So the next step for me is to reinstall that lamp fan. It's going to go back in there. Oh, right in front of my face. That's why you always put screws in the container, not just leave them on the bench. All right, that one. sits back there. <clears throat> Pardon me. And then this one goes back in. Now the lamp fan is fully reinstalled. I'm going to move the wire out here just so it doesn't get lost. When I go to put the main board back in, same thing with these wires. I'm going to dress them out of the way. That and like 20 other things. better. Now, put these screws back in. And now I have that bracket back in. We can get the main board. We can look at the main board real quick. I'll point out some of the key features. Obviously the keyboard buttons, infrared sensor, main DLP, DMD chip, some RAM, 
another DLP chip. These, I believe, are voltage regulators. And then on this side, uh, HDMI processing, power supply stuff, more power supply stuff, and uh, a bunch of dust that I'm going to go clean off. Be right back. And there's the motherboard seated back down, lined up with the connector under there. That feels good. The screws ready. I need those soon. Get the uh, color wheel wire and sensor back into its holder. Let's put this screw back in where it belongs. There we go. Beautiful. And now we can set the shield back on. Because once this is on, I can start putting all the screws back in that hold the main board in place. And those screws are all in. Now we can start plugging wires back in. I believe that's everything. Now, we can start assembling back. Now, I'm not going to fully, fully assemble it. I'm going to assemble it to the point to where I can fire it up. Because if you don't test it with it open, for whatever reason, it'll never work when you go to close it. So you got to kind of test them twice. I'm trying to get this back on. That's straight. There we go. Then we got these. That worked out beautifully. It's all shut down. Pop out my little switch bypass. And Let's give this a visual once over. I go around and just make sure all the screws are finished and tightened. Especially screws I took out. Looks good. Wires are dressed. Hmm, this bothers me. It's not as straight as it was. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now I can set top cover back on. Make sure the lens shift knob is in the spot it needs to be in. Snap the clips back into place. Come on. There we are. There's a plastic clip right here. There we go. 
didn't want to force it. Looking good. It's going to go there. Now this, yeah, that's good. Okay. And then the screw for holding the door on. Then we'll go and put the bottom screws back in. Now one of these screws, let's see, you got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. Oh, and you know what? There is one more for the top. Let me put that one off to the side. Just made for doing optical stuff. And we cover it up immediately. Now it's protected. It's ready. Really? Wait a minute. Amazing. Ah, so much better. Yes, beautiful. All right, that looks good. Let's spin it around and plug it in. Let's give it one more shot. There we go. You can see that light coming up. Good sign. Yep, and there we go. A full picture. All the buttons are responding. Yep. All right, here we go. Well, perfect. This is ready to go. Uh, you saw we had to get some crud out of the uh, lamp fan causing it to stick and overheat took care of that clean the unit up and now it's ready to go back so that's how you disassemble and reassemble a benq ht 1075 thanks for watching